everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here please i would ask for you to subscribe now before we start the video and for all my existing followers thank you again for tuning in and um, so today's video we're going to be talking about my mark ii ford focus st which is just sat over there um, and we're going to be talking about 12 months of my ownership because it's just been bang on 12 months and we're going to talk about what it's taken modification wise to get it to 480 brake horsepower which is currently how it's sat now um, but yeah we'll get straight into it with the cinematic so this is my mark ii ford focus st Right, so yes, here is my Mark II Ford Focus ST. Um, currently running 480 brake horsepower. Now we'll get straight into it. Uh, I have done a video on this about six months ago, talking about the spec of the car. Um, but as you can see, a lot has changed. Not the engine wise, because well, some stuff has changed, but most of it is exterior and handling wise. So we'll get straight into it now. I'll talk about what engine mods we have done. Um, I'll go over the full spec list again, um, just for a, just for a recap on everything. And then uh, yeah, we'll get onto the body. So we'll start off in the engine bay, and I'll talk for you, talk through to you what has been done. Right. So starting off, we have obviously the 2.5 litre, five cylinder engine from a Volvo. Uh, if anyone didn't know that, that's what engines these cars run. Now <clears throat> this one has had a lot of work done um, so we had the engine taken out bd performance um, did this job for me so everything on the engine is bd performance and um, so we started off fully forged the engine uh, to go with bigger power that's what we needed we had the head fully refurbished because i had a stud in the head which was absolutely ripped apart so there was an oil leak so we had the head fully refurbished which that's what they do anyway uh, we went to the stage one Newman cams. We had the engine fully re, re uh, painted. As you can see there, rock covers nice blue. Um, even down to the whole engine was redone, uh, resprayed. Um, we've got the air tech plenum on the top here. We've got the RS crossover pipe with the RS. MAF sensor, we've got the BDP hoses for the intake and the BDP filter just there. Also because of this style of air filter, well, you change from the standard air filter, you've got to have the, this box here to change the ECU, so that's the ECU holder. The coolant reservoir change, so I want, obviously with the engine bay looking so nice I wanted that looking the part as well, so we changed that to the air tech one. Coming to the front here, we have, I believe it's a stage two or stage three, I can't remember exactly, AirTech intercooler. Um, that's been there since I've had the car, so it's held up well. Just behind the grill here, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, it's just there, uh, the radiator there. That is the AirTech, uh, that is the AirTech remote oil cooler. Now, if you are gonna go for one of these oil coolers, then you need to, be aware that your oil change will go more expensive as I found out because it now takes seven litres with that um, so that's just a one to you guys what else have we done so we had all these um, covers all these were hydro dip by Rich Dippins done a lovely job on them uh, these ones are already on the car but I kept them to like them all the coolant hoses 
So we have JS Performance cool, coolant hoses here. Um, and we have the BDP, two silicone ones at the back there. Now I'm the first, first person to actually have them from BDP, so I thought I'd get that in there. Now, powered in this engine, I did, up in the last video, I had an RS turbo, which was brand spanking new. Um, which we were producing 430 brake. Um, since then, we have upgraded now to the stage three hybrid RS turbo. Um, it's currently in low, well, a mid boost setting uh, while we just run the turbo wings. It's only been a couple of weeks, uh, but as soon as it's up and running, we'll take you out for the full blast. I'll take you out for a drive today, but you're not going to see how it fully goes. I'll just show you what it sounds like mainly. Um, but yeah, we've got stage three RS hybrid on here now. Yeah, so we're running the RS ABS module. Um, this is to help because when you go to the RS software, apparently the traction control light will stay on like it won't work properly and um, so BD upgraded that for me we had uh, the upgraded ABS put in so like uh, when you're driving with the air, air traction control on it doesn't wheel spin it does but not much not as much as it would if you didn't so on the top here we have the summit strut brace that was already on the car I'm thinking of upgrading that because it looks a bit tacky and um, so gearbox wise so we're running the standard gearbox, but we do have the six paddle helix clutch. Uh, clutch is heavy, you know, at first very juddery, but you do get used to it. So you learn how to like stop it from juddering, if you get me. Um, so we've had that, that's what we've got there. We've got no differential in there yet, but to be honest, I've been on the track with this, as you'll see from past videos, and the car drives beautifully. Obviously once it's on full chat on the turbo, then Maybe we'll have a bit more wheel spin, but who knows. Uh, we've also got the RS radiator. It's my uh, standard one cocked because of the big boost pipes that go on. They rub against the outlet for the like sideways like that. And then on the RS one, it's straight. You'll see from one of my past videos. So yeah, that's pretty much the engine. Uh, so yeah, it was about 480 brake. Obviously not today, it's not because we're running the turbo in, but yeah. once it's on full chat, we'll get another video. There's just one more part of the turbo package that I want to talk about. That's just inside the car, but we'll get to that when we do the interior. Uh, also, we're running Turbo Smart Actuator, which is also brand new with the turbo. So yeah, that's the engine bay, guys. We'll get onto the exterior and see what's changed. Right, so as you can see from the exterior of the car, a lot has changed uh, compared to how it used to look. Uh, if you go back through the videos, you'll see how the ST used to look. I've spent a lot of money. I'm still not getting into money. Uh, so straight away, we have the Satin Ocean Shimmer Blue wrap. Uh, that was done by my good mate Levi at LC Wrap. So a big shout out to Levi for smashing out such a good job. So we'll come down to wheels. For wheels, we've changed from Bowler B7s. We're now running Bowler B1s uh, with Michelin Pilot Sport 5s on the front and the back too. I don't know what the hell they are. Uh, and as you can see, just behind there, we now have the EBC racing brakes. Hollow big balance brake kit. So as you can see, they're pretty big. Two piece floating discs comes with comes with braided brake lines front and rear and EBC yellow stuff pads front and rear. So it's had a full brake overhaul apart from the back. So if you come to the back ones, as you can see the backs are just still standard. I've painted the caliper and I'm yet to change the discs. Um, we've got a side splitter. So that's been there. That's the same one that was on there. We've got some new rally flaps there. So uh, good little modification, I think they look nice. We've got the carbon fibre here on the, on the wing, uh, wing mirror caps, also done by Rich Dippins. So we've got the Zoom Sport grills, top and bottom. We've got the 4D plates. We've got the carbon fibre fog surrounds with the yellow tints there. And we have on the bottom, a front splitter which I'm also debating on changing because it looks a bit rough. Headlights, so 
the headlights have also been tinted. They were done while the car was wrapped by my friend at LC Wraps. Uh, we've got these little badge overlays on here. A cheap little modification. I don't like these ones that stick out that far. I like them, they're subtle, they look good. Right, what is going on? Why have I got a fly infestation on top of my car? Look at these little bastards. Now it's coming to the back. Uh, as you can see, one big thing has changed here. We no longer have the WRC spoiler. Um, decided to take it off due to cracks. Had a lot of cracks in it, but I still sold it for good money because they are rare as shit, apparently. Uh, but I come close. Basically, I have the standard spoiler which was already on, and we have this nice little lip on here. But possibly, possibly we're going to be upgrading that to an RS replica. I don't want an RS real one; it's too much. RS replica, probably. Uh, rear lights. I'm not sure if they're standard to this car. People have said they're off the facelift, maybe. I don't know. Um, but they've been tinted. This weren't done by Levi at LC Wraps. This was done by someone else, and they're absolutely shocking. We've got a rear wiper delete. Rear, win rear windows are tinted. We treated her to a new ST badge. 4D plates again. VD performance gave me a nice new badge because uh, the old one fell off in Europe. Coming down. Uh, we've got a subtle but nice looking diffuser on the rear and we're running the Dream Science exhaust system. Uh, so we've got the back boxes and then straight through all the way to the turbo. And again, we've got rear spats here and we've got carbon fibre and the mud flaps on the rear. So as for exterior modifications, that's what we're running. Um, I'll talk a little bit now about suspension setup and just what, what's underneath the car, like, yeah, just all the suspension. And so we'll get into that now and then we'll move on to the interior after that. Right, so coming on to my suspension setup, um, I was running Bilstein dampers with springs. Recently, one of the springs broke. So, because one spring broke, I had to, uh, I felt like doing all of it. So we went for the BC Racing RM Series coilovers. That's what we're currently running now. I'll just see if I can get in there and show you them. Probably not. Yeah, there you go. Just just at the back there, you'll see the BC Racing coilover. Um, but other than that, I can't show you anymore. Yeah, so we've got the fully adjustable BC Racing coilovers with damp dampening adjustment. You can change the camber on the front and obviously change the spring compression rates and all that good stuff from Andrea. Um, coming underneath, so we got underneath strut braces. I'm not sure on the make, can't really remember. Um, poly bushes. We have a white line anti-roll bar on the rear. So we got upgraded engine mounts, upgraded gearbox mounts to handle the torque, because there's a lot more torque than standard now. We've pretty much doubled the horsepower as well. Uh, but pretty much everything it could have, it's got. Um, it's even got neons underneath, so we're bringing back the 90s glow, glow time. Currently not working because I've wired it up twice, and twice they have uh, drained my battery. So I'm still trying to figure out how to wire them up correctly. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much the underneath of the car. Uh, we'll get on to the interior now. Right, so coming to the interior. Um, since the last video, not too much has changed. I have kept it pretty much the same. Um, so in here we have Sparco Pro 2000 seats in the front. Lovely bucket seat, nice and uh, comfort supporting. Um, I do suffer with a bad back and I find with these seats, it's so much better for my back. When I drive my Safira, my back's in bits. And I drive this, it's nice because we've got the harnesses here. Sparkle harnesses, they obviously when you've got them tight, they just keep you in a nice supported position in the car. So if you've got a bad back, get some bucket seats. That's not a good excuse. Um, steering wheel, we've got the code snap off release steering wheel. I do this with yeah, so we can take the steering wheel off. Nice little modification and a little safety feature because nobody can drive away with your car if you've got a steering wheel. Um, recently the clocks, so the clocks broke. 
They have a common problem with these where something happens in the back of it and you have to have it soldered. So I had the clocks done. We've got little carbon fibre touches around the vents and on the centre console. We've got this nice touch screen radio here. Um, oh yeah, that came with it. Now the thing I was talking about, the thing I was talking about with a turbo, so if you look down here, we have a turbo smart boost controller now. Um, at the moment, it's only got one setting due to having, like running the turbo in for a few miles before we whack it up, but soon it will have, I think, three settings, high boost, medium and low. Um, yeah. So that's quite expensive, but when you go in higher power, you need it. Um, go into the rear. So in the rear, we have an AirTech half cage. Uh, we have a bar at the back and there, and the false floor. I can't remember who supplied that, unfortunately, the name. I did mention it in my last video because I, I was more... Well, obviously, it's been six months since then, so I can't remember. Um, but I'll try and find out and put it in the description for you. What else have we got in here? Uh, boost gauges. They're, sta they're standard boost gauges. I am looking to upgrade them to a more... Asbo looking ones. I have seen some very nice ones that I want. Happy Christmas present. Uh, accompanied on the roll cage, so we have a fire extinguisher because it's a Ford and it might go on fire. Yeah, but as for inter interior concern, it's pretty simple to be honest. It's I've kept it. I've kept the car. Well, I did take a carpet out. I stripped everything out, but I put it all back in now due to road noise and it's doing my head in. But yeah, everything's back in. It looks clean. I haven't gone over the top in here, but yeah, that's the interior guys. Yeah, so that is all the modifications. I've probably missed some because there is quite a lot, but that is pretty much everything I've done in 12 months. Now, if you know how much things cost, everything was brand new as well. You can work out how much I've spent, uh, but I'm not saying on here. Um, it's got a lot of money. I love it a bit. But we'll do a little sound test for you now because a lot of people have been asking what it sounds like and I've never took it any I've never been out in the car with the video but now I have a mount so we'll give you a little sound test now where it sits and then we'll take you out for a little drive. Just remember not running full boost at the minute so this is more it's still quick but it ain't 480 brake quick yet. Um, but we'll get into this sound check now, hook you up inside and we'll take you out for a little drive. Sounds like um, you should do because you like. 
we're up on a nice stretch of road. Uh, I'm not going to go too far because I don't have much fuel and I don't really want to be putting any in until I drive the car home. It's hot in here. Close the windows so there's no uh,
box a lot to slow down uh, just to save the brakes but on the track they're amazing stopped in a little car park now just to finish the video um, just to prove to you what this car is doing fuel wise like, I'm not even shitting you right look at this 35 focus you twat 35.4 miles to the gallon I've driven 200 miles to Somerset I had a full tank just got just um, just over halfway, or just below halfway, sorry. And I still got a quarter of a tank left. And I've done, I went to the shop the other day and just done that little drive and I still got a quarter of a tank. So, if you want better fuel economy and to go faster and to have your car sound in ASBO, go stage three hybrid turbo. Yeah? Uh, but yeah, no, Jen, as you can see, better fuel economy. I don't get it how, but it is. Um, so, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video that is pretty much my focus um there's gonna be a lot more planned for it i have got a few more ideas but the next thing for the car is the breather kit and the aircon delete which is going to be next week um no week after sorry and then after that it's going to be put to bed until summer um because obviously ford's like to rot and i don't want to be driving it in the salt salt rain off the leaf gritters and that um, but yeah, that is the end of the video guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel um, If you're watching the video and you haven't subscribed then please 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 subscribe I'm nearly at 1k subscribers and I would appreciate it very much if you could help me Nice portion of that. If you could help me hit 1k subscribers I'm like 20 something away now, 26 away or something like that I think um, But yeah, I'd really appreciate it guys. So please like, comment what you think of the car um, If you think I should change anything then comment. I'm not going to listen to you because I love the car, but if you think I should, then yeah. Um, but we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.